What's going on? What's going on, fam? This is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We're back with another presentation. And today it is all about the meaning of deja vu in our lives. And remember, our purpose and mission require learning life lessons and to gain experience and knowledge for our soul's growth. All right. It's all about learning those those heartfelt lessons. It can be a little painful, right? But, you know, growth requires change, you know, so with every situation, with every challenge, there's a, you know, a bigger picture that we're not seeing just yet. But that's how the universe works, you know, it'll make your dreams a couple sizes, just, you know, a couple sizes too big just so you can grow into them, if that makes sense. But along your path, you know, that's what I'm doing, you know, share your knowledge and wisdom with people, help people level up. And help them, you know, lift people up, don't tear them down. And remember, your thoughts, belief, words, emotion, and action are always going to equal your reality and your re results, right? Because you adding, you know, you're putting that, that alignment with, with all these different things in your life. And that's the, those are the building blocks to your reality, okay? But again, you know, I hope you've been really learning, you know, a lot about yourself, about your life path and, you know, what are you here to do and what are these attributes i need to align myself with so i can have some better consistency so i can you know have some more balance in my life because we've been talking about a lot about the hero's journey and your will right and your numerology and we're not leaving no stone unturned right okay so but today again guys you know it's all about deja vu you know if you don't know it by now, you know we live in a matrix, right? Whoa, deja vu, right? And if you really want to dive a little bit deeper, and this is what the, the high, you know, the, what do you call it, Ivy League school, they study this stuff right here, the holographic universe. We live in a holographic universe, guys, and that's what the matrix is all about. So if you enter these films, you know, watch the first one, first matrix, matrix four, and then um, ready player one. Those are a few, just to name a few, okay? But again, this is just a constant reminder, you know, that keep going. You're on the right path. You know, keep learning more about yourself each and every day. And it's all about trusting your own intuition, not mine's, okay? Trusting that inner wisdom, that inner voice. And we'll talk a little bit more about that inner voice in one of our next presentations, okay? But if you, you know, if you don't stick around, please, you know, knowledge yourself is more important, you know? Material items going to come and go, but, you know, knowing who you are through self-discovery and what you're here to do is going to last you, last you a lifetime. But learn those seven hermetic principles, the cabalion, especially cause and effect, it'll take you far, okay? But as we move forward, guys, you know, let's talk a little bit about deja vu and we'll get you guys out of here. So what is deja vu, you know? So deja vu is a, an experience most of us have from time to time. Now, if we think of deja vu as nothing more than just a pleasant momentary diversion, it doesn't seem all that mysterious or magical, right? But if we really recognize for what it actually is, it's a, which it is a glimpse into the other side. Now, that takes on a whole new significance, right? But there are two kinds of deja vu. The first occurs when you visit a certain house, city, road, foreign country, or some other specific location you've never been before, and then suddenly realize that it seems very familiar. I've been there. Now, sometimes you may find that you even know your way around these places. Now, what all of us experience when we feel familiarity with an unfamiliar, you know, unfamiliar place is our spirit's memory of a past life. Now, we, we have been there before. It was just in another body and another time. Now, the spirit memory is usually buried deeply in the subconscious so that the moment when they emerges into our conscious mind and it's not just magical, they are powerful. You know, mirac miraculous glimpses into the eternity of our you know souls. So, you know, that kind of deja vu, you know, applies to people as well. Now. We all know people who seems, you know, very familiar to us the moment we meet them, you know, strangers. We feel we have known our, all our lives and we all been there, right? Now, one thing I need to need to really mention here, you know, don't just assume that a past life connection with someone should obligate you to, con you know, to a connection this time around. You don't have to act on the past life familiarity, okay? So remember that. Just notice, you know, when it happens. Recognize it as another window into your 
eternity. So it's just letting you know how powerful you are and how, you know, ancient or so, our souls are. Now, the second kind of deja vu as we get out of here is so common, subtle, and seemingly, you know, trivial when we rarely give it more than just a passing thought. Now, it consists of a moment in which every detail from what you are doing, to whom you are doing it with, to our surroundings and what you are wearing, feeling, and thinking. It is so familiar that it's absolute, you are absolutely sure that you pretty much like re, reliving an exact duplicate of a moment of your past, right? But it never lasts more than a few seconds, and it's never a significant event. Now, to really understand the concept of deja vu, we need to understand more about our blueprint. So, if you haven't, you know, listened to my blueprint presentation after this presentation, of course, go back, you know, listen to that. And I really covered that in great detail. You know, uh, I'm brief, but I'm thorough, <laughs> right? So, but I really want to give you all the information that you need, you know, less entertainment, more info. And that's what I'm all about because I don't want to waste you guys' time because I'm ready for you guys to, like, level up so I can just see see your results, right? It's all about results, not just talk. But, you know, but going back to our blueprint, you know, our blueprint, before our spirit entered the womb for another lifetime here, you know, on this plane, you know, we compose a chart or blueprint for the life we were about to live. Now, the blueprint contains all the elements of this new life. Although we can modify our charts throughout our lives. Now, I mentioned that too. Now, there is plenty of room for lateral movement in our blueprint. So don't picture your charted life as a narrow path with very few choices or options along your way. And I mentioned that, you know, we're, you know, infinite. We have unlimited potential and just you, you just need to find your lane, you know, mind your business, right? Instead of everybody else's business, you know, focus on your business. And so, but in our blueprints, we write into our charts a few signposts that really let us know we are on the right track according to our blueprint. Now, from time to time, those little signposts appear to us in the form of deja vu because they hit us with such a sudden flood of total familiarity. We logically assume that we must somehow be duplicating a moment we've lived before in this life, but we aren't. Now, we are experiencing just a tiny sign signpost from our blueprint we created on the other side before we were born, guys. Now, in this type of deja vu, our spirit is resonating so profoundly with the realization. I remember the chart I wrote. That's the, you know, that it echoes from our subconscious where the spirit mind exists to our conscious mind. For that instant, both our subconscious and conscious mind are receiving an affirmation that we are in perfect synchronicity with our blueprints now more than ever we are getting a quick glimpse at a you know at the eternity of our lives on the other side as our spirit remembers acknowledges and yearns for home right now as we get out of here guys now those same miraculous blissful and magical glimpses at the signpost in our chart appear in another very common form as well now with the added bonus that we don't just remember them we see them coming now, because we don't understand their significance, we rarely give them any real thought. Now, we consider them just to be a co coincidence, right? And I mentioned to you numerous times, there's, there's no such thing as you no know, accidents or coincidence. Everything happens in divine order, right? Now, now, you have the thought, and sooner rather than later, it becomes real before your eyes. And we've been there, you know, to put it accurately. What you are foreseeing is just a little signpost into the blue into your blueprint shortly before the signpost appears. So that's what you're experiencing right now. You know, at that point. Now, a close, really close relative of coincidence is synchronicity. Now, basically, synchronicity is an especially meaningful coincidence. It is always involves some unmistakable physical sign of some kind. You know, the clock, you know, 11 and 11 noises, people saying what you're thinking on the radio, the TV. Right. But not only, you know, these things not only call our attention and, uh, you know, to the magical harmony of the universe, but also this is basically give you tangible proof that you are exactly where you charted yourself to be exactly when exactly with home and that's why you listen to this presentation right now because you exactly where you meant to be at this present you know day and time you know plus a month you know minus a few dollars right because we all are rich but you know we may be you know short a couple dollars or you know here and there but we already rich guys 
But at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's your hero's journey. You know, it's all about knowledge of self. Again, learn those Semitic principles. They're going to take you far. And again, you know, our purpose and mission require learning life lessons and to really gain that experience and knowledge for our soul's growth. Share. Share your knowledge and wisdom with people. Point people to a reference. You know, that's very, you know, enlightening. You know, point people to that reference so they can really find, you know, see the information for themselves and give their own point of view. That's what it's all about. Life is all about different perspectives so we can synchronize our information and, you know, and, and, and make something bigger and better, right? And have a new mind frame, a new mindset. But your thoughts, your belief, your words, emotions, and actions is always going to equal your reality and your results. You know, I appreciate you guys. We'll be back with another presentation soon. Until next time, stay grateful and focused, fam. Peace.